Welcome to the Gurge. In this video I'm going to show you how I hooked up this switching power supply to power my diesel heater, which you may hear right now. Uh, this power supply is a 110-220 volt, so you can use either voltage. It's got a switch here on the side. Uh, it converts to DC 12 volts. It can furnish 30 amps uh, up to 360 watts. So this is useful and usable for a diesel heater. Uh, diesel heaters can pull between 12 and 15 amps when they first start up to light up the glow plug. So uh, to hook this up, you have to get a power cord hooked in here, and then you set up your DC voltage over here. I'm going to show you how I did that. I used one of these cords, uh, the cords with this kind of end. I cut the end off, and then I'll show you what that looks like. I Open up the wires a little bit and identify which wire was which, uh, black being the line voltage, white being the return, and green being the ground. Now, I was lucky these followed the standard codes for wire uh, in a cord. Sometimes you'll open up a cord and they don't. You have to identify the wires individually. You can do that with a continuity tester on a multimeter. Uh, this is the return, the left side. If you look at a power outlet, I got one, just happen to have one over here, you see that the wider of the two on the left side goes to the silver, which is white in the wall, and that is your return. Black goes to the gold side, which is the right, the smaller of the two, and that is the right side. Of course, your ground is this one in the bottom here, and that's this larger uh, as, as so. So, with that said, Make sure that you identify that correctly. If you have any questions on that, consult an electrician. I am not one. So to hook these up, what I did is I identified the line that was the black wire in my case, and I hooked it up to the line, and the return was the white wire, and the green was the ground. Let me go ahead and do that real quick. So when I hook these up, I always put the wire on the left, side of the screw because you're going to be tightening the screw and I make sure that the insulation is not getting clamped underneath the screw and I tighten that down really good really well all right so let me move that down so we can put some force on it and then the white the return is going to go here and again on the left side so that when the screw tightens down Counter clockwise fashion, so counterclockwise to loosen, loosen it up, slide the wire under the clamp, and then tighten. Again, you want your insulation not under the screw, but right up next to the screw. And of course, the ground goes over here. Up, go. Now again, I am not an electrician or an expert in wiring. I just happen to know that this works and I know why it works. But you should do your own research and again, consult with an electrician if you have any questions. So this can clamp down like so after you're done. Um, it's not a real good covering. I would recommend putting this inside a metal box if you're going to have this inside a work area. So again, we've got line on the right neutral in the middle and ground and then you can plug this into AC and you will get a DC voltage on these two terminals so what I'm going to do is hook up my multimeter to those two terminals and the first three are positive and the next three are your negative DC voltages <clears throat> I'm just gonna clamp the probe in so that it doesn't get away from us and then we can adjust the output voltage using this potentiometer right here. Make sure you're measuring DC voltage on the DC terminals. All right, DC, mobile. It's great. We can plug it in and see what we got. And hopefully that is in frame. I'm going to take a second to go find the right screwdriver to fit that potentiometer. And let's plug this in and see what we get. So we get 12.47 volts. And I like to have about 13 volts on my diesel heater, so I'm going to turn up that potentiometer. I'll be right back. You can see we're getting 12.47 volts DC, and I'm going to turn the potentiometer to 
the right to increase that and I'm looking for 13 volts that's what I like to run my diesel heaters at and 13.06 volts I'd say that's close enough so a really good question to ask is how do you hook up one of these converters to run your diesel heater so the next step I would take is I would hook up the positive wire for the diesel heater and the negative wire for the diesel heater in their appropriate location and then I would hook up the rest of the harness to the parts of the diesel heater that they go to this being the main part of the unit and this being the fuel pump thanks for watching I hope that you are able to get something from this again do your own homework and consult an electrician if you have any questions